Hi again, YouTubers. So it is that time of month for face of the month video. A little bit different lighting you guys are seeing here and a lot, a lot, a lot of new products. Lots of Makeup Forever HD, the Tartlet Eye Palette, some stuff I haven't used in a really long while. And uh, this is the lip that everyone was asking me what I was wearing in my vlog where we were car shopping. Everyone asked me, this is it. So I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get started. So let's get started. First things first is I'm trying a couple new things this month so you'll see some differences, change in the lighting, and I am super stuffy so I'm apologizing in advance. Makeup Forever Step 1 Base Corrector. You guys haven't even seen this in a haul yet. Comes in a little squeeze tube, squeeze out a little bit, kind of tap it. I've had some redness in my skin since I've been doing the Obagi because my natural skin tone is coming out more than self tanners and things like that. So the green cancels out any redness. It's actually a really nice feeling primer. And you can see the difference on my neck even color wise to my face. However, I will say that I have started using the skincare all the way down my neck and on my chest too. So I'm interested to see how that works out. Lots of Makeup Forever HD products this month, and I bought all of them. Makeup Forever Ultra HD R30. Um, it's a corrector. Instead of the Tarte, I've been trying to play with this. This is like the third color I had to buy, I think, to try and get the right color. So you put it on, and then I just tap it in and move it around under the eyes. <clears throat> You can tell the difference between those two eyes. I'm pretty impressed. You guys know I love my Tarte CC corrector. I still think that this color might be a little bit too light for me, but I'm not 100% sure. So, yeah, so I have been using the Obagi for quite some time and I can really see a difference in my skin. I love it. Makeup Forever HD Ultra HD in the color. 125Y315 and a coaster. I do two pumps of it. <clears throat> a Sedona Lace FB07. Sorry, I was mid-thought. So, um, and you can see this looks yellow, but trust me, it'll work out. Um, so I have been loving the difference in my skin with the Obagi. Absolutely loving that. But the one thing I will say is that I noticed that my neck was not my neck and my chest were looking a little bit different they definitely carried more of a yellow tone they still had more spots and things so I decided why not start bringing it down my neck and see what kind of difference it really makes on skin that hasn't had all the things I've done to my face so I've really kind of been enjoying it and liking the difference so it's a little red and blotchy and kind of in the peeling stage on my chest right now but I kind of go into the hairline with whatever is left just to make sure because down the neck as always I go on the ears but I think if you go into the hairline it helps it so that it doesn't look so you know that line that makeup line that none of us want <clears throat> so wipe that off onto my eyes I have been using the Dolce & Gabbana perfect mono nude shadow this is what it looks like. You need the tiniest bit about this, and I use a Sedona Lace EB13, and I just tap this into there and put it on my lids, and this cancels out very nicely, too. I guess I really don't have to bring that corrector up onto my eyelids since I've been using this. This does a great job. It has a little bit of a pinkish undertone, just slightly, but this works a thousand times better than, like, MAC paint pots or any of those. It's just awesome. I love the Makeup Forever ones, but my problem with those is they don't have matte colors. So, Benefit Gimme Brow, and I just do my brows next. I don't go all the way into the front. I tend to go up to the point and then bring it down a little bit. And then I go back into the product, and then I do the front of my brows. Just kind of work with them a little bit. Same thing on the other side. But yeah, so I've noticed the skin texture change on my face. But now I want to see how it changes on my neck as far as the sunspots I had on my chest 
and things like that. Um, I'm really kind of excited. I feel like the camera is up a little bit too high today. So I might be editing this, like cropping it down. I have a feeling for you guys. And my lighting has changed in here, so hopefully that is better for you guys and more true to color. Um, I've been using this Anastasia Brow Wiz, the Duo Pencil, the one with the matte and the shiny one. Just to really kind of carve out my eyebrows a little bit more. Make them a little bit more defined. A Bare Minerals Concealer Brush. And just kind of, I feel like that really kind of helps define those just a little bit. Just enough to give you that extra added bit. <clears throat> Tartlet in Bloom palette. I have been taking a Sephora Pro 19. My brushes don't change that often. Um, and the Smarty Pants color with the palette right there. And just going on the crease. Hate that feeling. Like where you have something, you feel like you have something caught in your throat, but it's like you can't breathe through your nose. Ugh. So, yeah. So let's see here. Lighting. Change the, all the light bulbs in here. So it might look a little bit washed out. I haven't decided. I'll have to figure that out after this video a little bit. Sephora Pro 14. Flat one. And I use one. I'm going to use Firecracker today. This is one of the ones I really like to use a lot. I just feel like doing some color on the lid today. And I just tap that onto the lid. It has a beautiful shine to it. It's a beautiful bronzy color. I can hear MJ and Marty downstairs. MJ's been sick too. So Sephora Pro 15 and I go into Flower Child. He's been sick too. I don't know if I had it first or he had it first, but he actually had a fever for a couple of days too. So I am just over it every year at this time. I feel like you guys have to deal with me having a cough for a while. It's annoying for you and it's annoying for me. <laughs> Back with that Sephora Pro 19 and I kind of blend that lid shadow up into the crease a little bit. Just to kind of have no line there. Hourglass number four brush in the Jet Setter color, right here. Just tap that in and tap it off. Put it in the outer corner and then bring it in really just kind of lightly in the windshield wiper motion just to give you a little bit of definition there. Here MJ, sit, sit. He's playing with scotch and then he's throwing toys. I can hear it from here. Sephora Pro 19 again, just to kind of blend that in. Circles and windshield wiper. Just to make it so everything seems very seamless. I don't want it really noticeable. Like that there's lines of demarcation there. Laura Mercier Black Ebony Pan Liner, Tight Liner. A little squirt bottle with water in it. I find water works better than any of these other things out there. So many idea things out there and that one works good. That's Sephora Pro Flat Liner 25. I dip it into the water in the cap. And then this one's almost empty. I go in here. You can see how it gets wet. Get the product on the brush. And keep the brush so it's flat. And then I go in and tap on my water line. So I decide, and then I go in on my lash line and keep it very close. So I've decided with these, because I'm doing two hauls a month now. I have a spot I missed. Um, I've kind of decided that what I'm going to do is try to use new products in my face of the month versus what I'm always grabbing for. So that way you guys can see how they look when I use them. Same thing back into the water, back onto the palette or the liner, I guess, till you get some product on there. Same thing on the other eye. So yeah, so I'm thinking that way you guys can see 
how they work right away see what they look like on things like that versus using something that I grab for all the time same thing back on the lid I don't know I thought that was a good way to go about it like that's only the second day I'm using this primer I think it's good as a primer is what I figured out so far I don't know if it really cancels out any redness I think if you have the right foundation it can cancel that out too I always wipe this brush off and just kind of keep make sure it stays flat so on to that next thing I have been using is the Chanel Le Volume de Chanel mascara that everybody has been raving about I've been playing with it it's not my favorite it's not the worst it's just okay so yeah I'm trying to think of what else um, you guys have been seeing more videos in the other room I don't know I think with these new lenses that I got um, I think you guys are probably seeing things a little bit more true to what they are I'm trying to also start a new year of every time I get a new product that uh, is like new new I'm trying to write down everything so that I can do reviews of it right away for you guys because I feel like I tend to try things for a really long while before I determine what I think of them. So I'm trying to get you guys a little bit more reviews that way. So Surratt Lash Curler is what I'm using here. It's my go-to. And this Chanel mascara, it's a strange wand. And I think it's a decent mascara. I just don't get the, oh my god, it's the only thing I'll ever use. I don't get that with it. I like it. I wouldn't return it. But I'm not like, oh my god, I can't live without it. There's other mascaras that I feel like are better for that. I don't know. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I doubt it, but you never know. I'm really playing with this side. This side is not agreeing with me today. There's like a clump there. It's right there. Can you see it right here where the top of that is? That's a little bit better. There we go. All right. On to that next thing I have been doing is bronzer and Tom Ford bronzer brush and I have been using this is so this packaging is so old Laura Geller bronze and Brighton I don't even know if this one has a color it was before they did colors that's how old this packaging is but it's still good and I love it so I have been going up and around on one side same thing with the other side and again making sure I go into that hairline and onto the ears, under the jawline, bring it down just a little bit to make sure, and a little bit over here, since I have an open necked sweater today. And then the next thing I have been going for is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer in Y31. Again, these colors are weird names or weird numbers because if you read the description, I think this one says it's like medium or something. And to me, oops, there's some left on the outside edge there. To me, I don't know, their color descriptions are really, really, really bad. And I just kind of tap this in. I think it's a nice concealer. It's just a matter of getting the right color. <clears throat> Wipe my hand off. Same thing on the, oh, that is way too much on that side. It's very hard to control the product too. I will say that. Bring around the edges of my nose where I get some redness. But yeah, like that, this is like, I don't know. I want to love it, but I'm just having trouble with color matching. I've been through, I bought three different correctors and I think four different concealers before I might, I think this one might be the right color. That is just a pain in the butt. Laura Mercier Balance and Brighten. Oh, before I do that, this, um, I use this Smith's Strawberry Lip Balm. My lips have been so dry. So, just adding a little bit of that. Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder with a Wayne Goss, Wayne Goss number two. And I just set under the eyes. Kind 
going to make sure I get that all in there. And ugh, then I have been using Sedona Lace 376 brush with the Chanel loose powder. Someone told me to try, I've talked about this in my blog, the Laura Mercier translucent powder. So I take what's on the puff. And then I go through and I kind of set my T-zone. I probably shouldn't have put the lip balm on first. I don't know what I was thinking. And then just make sure you set underneath where your bronzer is too. Because that can really break up if you're not careful. If it's not set. Alright. Off of that. Whoops. On to NARS blush. I've been using Madly again. I just love this blush. Just, oh, It Cosmetics 227, I think it is. Yep, 227 blush brush. I just love this. So what do you guys think of the lighting? Do you think this is better? I know in the beginning it's like, whoa, but I feel like it's very much truer to color. Hourglass uh, Ambient Strobe Lighting Powder in Iridescent Strobe. This one is the pinker of the ones. I think I might get another one. And I take this and just go right on the cheekbone in a Sephora Pro 54. I feel like two things. One, I missed foundation on my upper lip, like, like above here. So then I need to set it a little bit. You know, we all miss stuff like this. So whatever. On to that. <laughs> on to, I have been using, where to go? Sephora Pro number 18 it's a little smudger brush and i go back into that color jet setter and a little bit of firecracker so jet setter and firecracker so i tap it into both of them and i go right under my lower lash line and really like just smudge it out oh got the brush in my eyeball that wasn't very smart I look up a little bit when I do this. I find it does a better job of smudging it than when I'm staring into the mirror. So that's both sides. And then I have been taking the Marc Jacobs, oops, can't get it out, fell down, um, highliner in the brown color. I like the brown better on the bottom waterline when I do do this. I just felt like doing this lately. The more smudged out bottom waterline. Oh, give it a second. <laughs> then I sometimes take that same smudger brush and just kind of work that in. Ugh, blink, blink, blink. <laughs> All right, Mark Jacobs highliner. I usually blot that off. That towel, by the way, is so stained, it's ridiculous. Marc Jacobs Highliner, no. What are these called? I forget, his lip liner and primrose. Do a little outlining. It's hard to talk while you do this. Alright, so I outline, then I go back in and I fill it in a little bit. Not all the way, just a little bit. And I had a video where we were looking at cars and everybody asked what I had on my lips. This is it. And then I take the Sephora Lip Cream Stain in Peach Twist, I think it's called, and go right over it. It is so pretty and it's not like crazy drying but I do put the lip balm on first because it does make a difference so I think that's everything so I hope you guys enjoyed this please let me know if you have any questions let's see here what else I have on is just I just have on the arc pendant and a sweater from Nordstrom's it's just a cute like black and white comfy my hair is just up tied up you know in a messy bun who cares and I don't have any other jewelry on. I haven't had a chance to put it on. I wasn't thinking. 
So I guess that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know if you have any questions and thanks so much for watching guys. Have a great day. Bye.